Today I'm going to show you the only thing you need to know to be able to improvise with the harp. Improvising with the harp is actually much easier than people think and much easier than most of other instruments. If you think for example of a violin or a guitar or a flute, you need to build up the note so you need to know what you're playing. <laughs> right or the pedals and then we can play anything and it sounds good careful now I'm not talking about a super complicated jazz uh, modulating kind of improvisation I'm talking about the easier pop folk ones but they sound nice I give you an example now we are in C major with the left hand I just play two chords I play C and G super easy super basic <laughs> With the right hand, I'm going to go around a C major chord with inversions, a G major chord with inversions, and some little scales here and there. That's it. So it sounds like this. to harpists of all age and levels, I realized one thing, especially with conservatoire, super high level harpists, they were horrible at improvising because they had one huge issue. <laughs> they cannot keep the tempo. If you fix this thing with improvising, then you're done. That's it. What I mean is you have to be able to play these two strings, C and G, in the same rhythm and you're stuck there you don't move anymore you stay there and it's a good exercise to talk over it and not to get lost so our brain learns the coordination and you go on like this forever so the next step is to sing notes with the same rhythm La Then when you go on, it sounds good. Don't know if you understand. Anyway, now that you're confident, you can then add more complicated rhythm like 16th notes or syncopations, full chords, and the result sounds like this. <laughs> simple 
simple but nice. And now you can add the full chord, the C major, with the left hand and G major. slow and build up gradually. It's a good thing if you record yourself also or if you play with someone else just be able to keep the tempo so you record your left hand and then you just go around a bit with the right hand and that will help because you will have someone like a metronome saying look that's it you have to be there because the problem is harpists get lost in their improvisation and then they stop playing that's the problem. Yeah, that's it. That's finished. Done. Because, for example, now I am going to play something in D Dorian. Dorian is a scale which is used a lot in movie soundtracks or in Irish music. And uh, we have the same lever as C major, so no problem about that. But instead of starting with the C, you start with the D. So that's our D Dorian scale. And I'm going to play just two chords, D and G, and D and G, and I keep the rhythm, D and G, and I don't get lost. And now I'm going to add the right hand, just with scales, little scales, and the chords. Ciao, ciao, see you in my next video.